Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me, Shigrana, and today I'm going to show you a small little trick that you can do with the glide ability that not a lot of people are aware of. So what you can actually do is you can actually store movement speed with the glide ability. So a common mistake that people do, just because they're not aware of it, um, is um, as you can see, um, I currently have 143% movement speed and the normal glide speed is 178% movement speed. So what a lot of people do is when they try to get from A to B, they jump, double jump, then fell rush, and then glide. As you can see, I right now have the normal glide speed, like 178%, because of in which order I did it. If you do it in another order, you can actually store the movement speed of whatever movement speed increase you're currently uh, on. So this also works for fell rush and eventual retreat. So for example, if you double jump, glide, then fell rush, and glide again, you actually store the movement speed of the fell rush. And if I, for example, venture retreat now, and then glide again, I store it from the venture retreat. So as you can see, if I fell rush again, glide again, I store it from the fell rush again. So this works with all movement speed increases as, I, as far as I know. And the thing that you always see me um, use in my speedrun videos, if you have seen any of them, like my Demon Hunter speedrun videos, is the Rocket Boots Extreme, because as far as I know, this is the item that gives like the most movement speed, and I use, if I have to like make like these huge distances, the item that gives me the most movement speed. So it's like the kind of like spinny thing that you kind of see me in my, especially in my Breaking Dungeon video, I used it a lot. A lot of people were wondering what that is. It's just the Rocket Boot Extreme from Burning Crusade. So, um, another thing that you can do is, for example, um, I'm going to show off once it camps off cooldown, uh, the Rocket Boot Extreme. Another thing that you can do is, you can um, actually get some extra height using Venture Retreat. So what you actually just do is, you double jump, glide, Venture Retreat, glide again, and if you want to increase the amount of movement speed that you currently have stored, just pop in... Um, for example, a um, movement speed potion, fell rush, and now you have the movement speed potion stored. So even if you don't have, even if the buff is gone of the movement speed, you have this movement speed stored. So and as soon as you get on the ground, it's be, it, will be, it will be gone. So now my um, now my rocket boot extreme uh, of CD. But there's one more thing that I want to show you. Um, another small optimization that you can do. Um, so you can actually do it like this. So you don't have to immediately, so actually I'm gonna demonstrate this again. So as you can see, double jump, glide, fell rush, glide. So but you can actually use two fell rushes and then glide afterwards and it still has the same effect so you get even more distance. So that's all that I wanted to uh, say. Um, so I can show that too. So I have both my fell rushes and now double jump, Glide, fell rush, fell rush, and glide, and now I still have the movement speed sort. So that's a small optimization, and then you can combine it with ventral retreat. So let me show you that. Um, so double jump, ventral retreat, uh, fell rush, fell rush. But that you honestly only want to do if you have like some movement speed increase active because you downgrade yourself by going from adventure retreat to a fell rush. So I can show this with a movement speed increase real quick so that you know exactly what I mean. Um, so double jump, glide, venture retreat. And now you can see I used the movement speed potion and now I have 300% movement speed. So that's how you do it. So now I can show you the fastest I can currently go. Of course, the more movement speed you have because of your gear, the higher your results will be as well. Um, I think so at least. Yes, of course it is that way. As you can see in my 101 Demon Hunter speedrun, I was really fast there because um, of the gear that I had at the time and with the scaling and stuff. So um, that's, for example, how I managed to like 
skip deadmines uh, as the way I did in my breaking dungeon video if you have seen it. I may uh, include this at the end of the video so that you can see the applications for this if you have not seen much of my videos yet. So as you can see this is the Rocket Boot Extreme and I've just got a follower which is nice. So I'm going to try to like get the optimal thing. So double jump, glide, venture, retreat. This is how you want to optimally do it. So now we're gonna fly to victory. And a lot of people have been asking me how I do this. Um, there are of course a lot of people that are aware of this, but there are also a lot of people that aren't aware of it and I like to teach people things. You know, I like to like there's like um, yeah, I like to teach people things. So maybe we can get into the cannon. I thought that it didn't have any collision. <laughs> so yeah, you can do a lot of things with it. And like I said, you can also like downgrade yourself here by using fell rush. Oh, let me use Rancho retreat again. So now I only have 250% movement speed. Um, yeah. Thanks for all for watching. I will see you back in another video. I have some plans um, for some upcoming videos, but since um, Weight lockouts exist. Um, I only have one shot each week since PTR. Like you cannot go into raids anymore in dungeons at the moment, at least. So I have to do it on the live servers. So I'm currently planning to do a reverse boss order run of Nighthold. So look out for that. Um, see you all in my next video.